Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Relitza and this is Readings with Rally. I hope that you guys are doing well. It's so nice to connect. So in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at what does this person on your mind want to um, say to you? So I'm not gearing this towards love in general, you guys. You know, I'm really gonna just try to pick up on the energy. So you can pick one pile, you can pick multiple piles, or of course you can always pick no piles if this just doesn't resonate with you. Um, I wanted to say as well that there will be an extended um, and of course to book a personal reading, you can always do so at www.readingswithrally.com. I'm going to be working on the new winter readings, um, you know, over the course of this weekend. So they'll hopefully be up soon and then I will post about them in the community tab. Also, the puppies and I just got back from a walk, so they are currently resting. However, I feel like they're kind of entering that adolescent stage where they're a little bit obnoxious. So I apologize in advance. So we do have three piles to choose from today. Three objects, I suppose. Okay. Pile number one, we have the bell. Pile number two, we have the bracelet. And pile number three, we have the sushi. So if you did need some more time, please do pause the video here. I am gonna go ahead though and start with pile number one. Okay. Hello, hello, pile number one. If you chose this bell, then this is your reading, welcome. Um, I'm really excited to read for you today, but you guys know how I like to start. I'm just gonna go ahead here and connect to your energy. So spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, can you please help me connect to the collective that chose pile number one? Please help me tap into their person. Who are they asking about? What does this person want to say? As always, we wanted to say a big thank you to you for your support for your kindness and for your accuracy. It means the world to us to have you um, with us. We just wanted to say a big thank you. We really do appreciate you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Please continue to keep Pile 1 safe. Okay, this person, <laughs> Spirit, okay, Spirit's calling them um, a big mouth, okay? So they could have a big mouth. I don't know what that means. Maybe their mouth is actually large on their face or you know they could just like to run their mouth a lot. Um, I feel like this person has a hard time being truthful. I was also, <laughs> this is gonna sound so dumb, but I don't know if any of you guys are old enough to remember that show, Hey Arnold, um, but I was seeing that show and there's this one scene where he goes like, move it football head. So this person could like football. Um, they could have a big head here as well. Lots of stuff about this person's face coming through for sure. But, or maybe you guys um, watch that show together. Um, but anyways, let's take a look here. Pile one's person, please. Uh, what would they like to say to pile one? If they were being truthful and honest, what would they like to say to pile one? We have the hanged man. I feel like this person would want to say, you know, that they really haven't managed to move on from this connection. There's been a long time that this person has been thinking about you. I feel like they are really desiring to come forward here. They feel like they have more they need to say to you. I think this person really regrets a lot of what happened here, but they haven't quite moved on in the same way that they're presenting. I would also say that this person is still kind of hanging around you is the other thing I'm hearing. We have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Wands. Some of you, this could be a friend or a coworker, okay, somebody that you worked with. There could be an age difference here as well. This person would like to say that they would like to start over. Um, I think that this person would like to rebuild a friendship, rebuild communication, rebuild so that they feel like the two of you are able to talk once again. This person is realizing with time how special and unique you guys are. Um, I feel like they haven't managed to duplicate the experience that they've had with you with anybody else. This person has been spending a lot of time in reflection. They do want to drop the barrier here. You know, the Seven of Wands to me is sometimes someone who's very defensive. So this person, they might want to like drop those defenses. I don't think this person wants to fight anymore. I also feel like this person could be culturally different from you or there could have been some pretty like intense difference between you and this person. What do they want to say? We have the Wheel of Fortune and we have the Hermit. This person wants to come back, honestly, I think is what they would say. I feel like they've been spending a lot of time thinking about you. They've been spending a lot of time thinking about this connection. I feel like especially if you guys have gone through a major transformation, this person, they are missing you. There's a sense of like sadness within this person's heart for sure. I feel like this person wants to work 
systematically and slowly on entering back into your life, especially because we have the Knight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. This is one of the slowest movies, that, slowest moving energies for me as a reader personally. So I feel like this person's like, they want to take their time to really build a solid foundation. They want to drop the defenses and this person wants to be honest with you. What pal one's person want to say to them? I do feel like this person misses you. We have the healing light. This person would say that they would like to heal this connection between you. This person doesn't want to fight anymore. Um, they don't want you to hate them. I literally just heard that. I don't want you to hate me. I feel like this person, again, they, they're they definitely like a fronter. You know, I feel this person likes to front a lot and they've really managed to isolate you, but not just you, other people in their life, I feel are starting to see like this different side of them. So this person feels quite lonely to me, actually. I do think they would like to come in and heal. Again, um, there could be, we could have a Pisces here, Virgo, Sagittarius, and yeah, we have double Pisces actually. We have dark thoughts. I think this person would say too that, you know, they have been really struggling with their mental health and they could have been struggling with their mental health before. This could have been a reason why they were treating you so poorly. Um, I feel like this person has, you know, wrestled with a lot of um, inner demons. This person's definitely somebody who They need, a, they need a lot of work is honestly what I'm feeling, really. Um, I think that this person would say that they have been seeking help as well for some kind of a mental health issue. But I also kind of feel, you guys, that like this person was very attracted to you because you did have this natural healing light. And this person did really like that. So I feel like this person did kind of have like ulterior motives towards you. You have your higher self. One more. What would this person say? We have great achievement and then we also have professional assistance. I'm not going to take it, but it did come out. So I want to show it to you again. That to me really reiterates the fact that I do think this person is trying to seek help. Um, I feel like this person has been trying to communicate with you in the 5D. Like you might be dreaming about this person or this person could be trying to connect with you in that space because they are really desperate here for um, reconciliation. I also feel like this person would say to some of you that they're proud of you. I think this person's really keeping a very close eye on you and on what you're doing and they have a lot of pride for what it is that you're creating i think this person is really seeing you as somebody who's a very hard worker and they're seeing you as somebody who's really capable of achieving a lot and they're they're impressed um and for some of you this person could have doubted you because i i'm just hearing um sorry i doubted you sorry that i doubted you so this person might have like really tried to minimize what you were creating for yourself or something like they might have tried to really pretend like you know you weren't going to be doing anything right this person regrets that. Tell me more. What would this person want to say if they were being honest and authentic? We have luck. This person feels um, like you hit a lucky streak. Or again, this person could also be wanting to communicate that they feel their luck has run out. I do feel like this person is realizing now um, how lucky they were to have access to you and how special you were to them. This person, I feel like they, they feel they messed up here. They really do. And there's a lot of... Um, there's a very apologetic tinge to this person's energy today, you guys. I do feel this person, they want to make things up here. We have financial breakthrough. Okay, so this person could be feeling here like um, you're having some kind of a breakthrough because we also have fame and investigations. Okay, you guys, I do feel like if you have had some kind of career glow up or something to do with that, this person is acutely aware of that. They are very much keeping um, their eye on you. I do think that this person, they know what you're up to and they definitely feel very, very um, attracted to what it is that you're creating. What's funny though, is I feel like you guys are like completely in a different energy than when this person was in your life. This person also is saying to me that they realize they put the wrong things, um, like their priorities were all messed up here. Like this person could have really not prioritized you in the way that they did. They could have chosen to prioritize other people. Like there's just a lot of trepidation that this person has in terms of how they were treating you. And I do think that this person, they are keeping a close eye on you and they would like to resume some kind of a friendship here. What else? What would this person say? You have guinea pig. Do your part to illuminate the universe. Okay. This person feels like what you're doing is very um, smart. It's very telling. You're helping a lot of people is also what I'm hearing. I feel like this person, they like that you're experimenting. They're very just, there's a lot of pride here. This person's very proud of you. I also feel like this person, 
would say that they didn't really put a lot of like emphasis on this connection. They didn't treat you with the respect and the love that you deserved. They kind of like, again, prioritize themselves or prioritize their own um, desires over you. And there's a lot of regret coming through because of that. We also have rat. Be true to yourself and the universe will reward you. I love that. I love that card so much. But I am also hearing, you know, that this person could have been a rat. They could have like been communicating private information about you to other people. Um, or they could have just been like a little bit, you know, corrupt towards you. And they are apologizing for that. But this person's really proud of you guys, especially if you are stepping into showing more of your authentic nature. There's a lot of, um, emphasis on this person like really seeing a different side to you than they ever did see before and they're now starting to realize how unique and how special you are to them they definitely regret a lot here we have be spread heart healing with joy and we have camel be forbearing and patient okay so this person i feel like they they would say that they're willing to wait for you they would say that they are they know that you know, you might not want them back in your life, but that they're willing to work for this connection. I feel like this person wants you in their life, no matter what the, the relationship was here. I feel like this person just would be completely happy just having you as like a, even a friend, honestly, because I feel this person is very, very much missing you. There's a, a, a very strong element here of like this person being on the outside of your life looking in some of you this person could like shoes or you could like shoes i'm seeing like a big like closet full of full of like nikes and jordans so this person could like to collect shoes but i feel like this person wants to say too that they will wait they will wait until you know you signal to them that you want them back in your life but this person is really desperate for some kind of reconciliation so yes pile number one that is what i have um there will be an extended of course i don't know i kind of feel like you guys are like in a bit of a different space from this person and I don't know if you are interested in you know having this person in your life or not but I feel you know this is not your priority anymore is really what I'm getting you know and I think that this person they sense that and this makes them feel bad like maybe you were really prioritizing this relationship or this friendship you know in the past but it's like you've really learned a valuable lesson Okay. Hello, hello, pile number two. If you chose this bracelet, then this is your reading. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, so I'm excited to go ahead here and tap in. So just let me connect here. Spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, can you please help me connect to the energy and the collective that chose pile number two and their person of interest? Please come forth with messages of truth clarity and accuracy for pal twos so that they can have the best possible reading as always we wanted to say a big thank you to you for your support for your accuracy and for your kindness thank you for everything that you do we appreciate you so much thank you thank you thank you okay so for some of you this person is foreign from you or they live at a distance i was seeing a globe um so this person could be a globe trotter or they could like to um travel or I was hearing Harlem Globetrotters so this person could be from Harlem they could like basketball but a lot of a green okay so I feel like there was a heart-based connection here whether this was romantic or not there was a lot of emotions here um and somebody's name here could be like start with an A I was specifically hearing the word Aiden the word the name pile two please um can you please tell me about this person what would they want to say to pile two what does their person want to say to them how to this person need to say we have the high priestess in reverse okay this person wants to reveal something here okay they could be a pisces sun moon or rising but i also feel like there has been a lot of secrets between you and this person this person wants to come clean they feel like a lot of this is um really hurting them it's hurting their heart is what i'm hearing they keep showing um they keep pointing to their chest now for some of you it's possible that this person could actually have like some kind of a heart um, issue, like a heart murmur, or you guys might, but I feel like this person wants to reveal something. We have the two of swords and we have the fool. I feel like this person, whatever happened here, they could have made some kind of like a foolish choice. And they are saying that they were impulsive and that they were really prioritizing themselves above everybody else. I think with time, this person has really managed to look back at 
what they've done here or kind of the energy that they've been treating you with and there's a lot of regret that they have i don't think that this person is very proud of what they've done and there's definitely a sense of this person realizing that their actions were somehow brash or impulsive this person is saying to me that even if they're on the other side of the world it doesn't mean that they're not thinking about you we have eight of cups we have six of cups this person knows that they disappointed you. I feel like this person really does. They, they, they're they aware of the fact that they have done something here that was painful for you. Or again, there's just a real lack of them prioritizing anything but themselves. Um, for some of you, you've known this person since childhood. For others of you, I do think that this person, um, they were very like childish or immature in their behavior here. And I think you guys might've like told them this or communicated that what they were doing was hurting you, but they just didn't care enough to change their behavior is also what I'm hearing. For some of you, this person could be born on the Pisces Aries cusp. Okay, so that's really interesting too. Um, or they could have a, a mix of those planets, which would make this person both deeply spiritual, but also like impulsive. This person, they're sad, you know, and I feel a real lack of fulfillment and I think this person would tell you that. What does Pal 2's person want to say to them? We have present power. This person, they really would like to come back into your life and I feel like this person feels like, like they somehow took away some of your power. I don't know how that translates to you guys, but that's literally what they're saying. They, they know that they kind of created um, a circumstance within you where you felt like you weren't, you know, being prioritized or something like this. And it did hurt your self-esteem or your sense of personal power. And this person is admitting that. They're also telling me that they um, hide a lot behind the ego. So this person can be very egotistical. You have true love. This person hopes that you're turning some of the love that you were giving to them back on yourself because I do feel like you gave this person a lot of your energy. And again, I was getting a lot of heart chakra energy here too. For some of you, this person would say here that they feel like you are their true love. We have new supportive connections. One more. And we have the healing light. Especially for those of you who have like, like let's say this was an ex or something and you're now in a different connection altogether. I do feel like this person is aware how that connection is a lot better for you or a lot more healing for you. I think this person, you guys, they are recognizing that they did a number on you. I also feel like it's only with time that this person has realized how horribly they treated you. And th again, there's definitely a, a heavy degree of remorse um, or regretful energy coming in here for sure. I feel like this person is very, very regretful. They definitely seem um, interested in, you know, I don't actually feel like this person is interested in reconciling. If I'm being honest, I feel like this person knows that they're kind of not very good for you, but they are, are hopeful that you are finding um, peace within yourself. We have waste of time. Okay. So I think this person would also apologize here for wasting your time for maybe leading you on and selling you a dream. We have sunshine. Okay, some of you could be Leo, sun, moon, or rising here. But I feel like this person would say that they recognize your light, you know, but they just didn't prioritize it. There's a real lack of this person prioritizing you. There's a real lack of this person um, caring for you. I feel like this person really did prioritize themselves. And they're, they're really regretful of those actions. But I also feel like from your perspective, they know that there's not really an interest here that you have towards them anymore. But they see you as sunshine, you know, they really do recognize now your value. We have consciousness and we also have mystery. Okay. So I feel like this person would also say that they feel like you're very mysterious. Um, I think that you, you guys were always a little bit more spiritually advanced than this person, but it's like you've realized something different about yourself, you know, with time, um, especially around this person. You're starting to see more clearly who you are and what you bring to the table. And I think you've gained, you know, a lot more awareness of yourself. This person has also gained a lot more awareness of the gravity of the situation um, or the, the connection itself. They could have really tried to deny this and they are admitting to me that they now see um, what role you play in their life. They're very appreciative. What else? We have rat. Be true to yourself and the universe will reward you. It came out in reverse and actually spirits telling me to take it in reverse. So honestly, you guys, this person would admit to you that they're not being authentic. 
I feel like there's a lot of truth that they're hiding within. I don't feel like they're being very open and honest. There's definitely a sense of them just really lacking, lacking consideration for you um, and even lacking consideration for themselves. This is a person who likes to wear a false mask and I think this is going to catch up to them. I really do. We have B, spread heart healing with joy. This person, again, I was getting all that green, which is within the um, heart chakra, right? So I feel like this person, they do have a emotional connection to you, whether they were able to admit it or not. I am feeling it. I also feel like this person is busy at work or they're trying to keep their minds busy off of you. So they could be doing something like working a lot in order to try to gain more um, stability in their life. I feel like this person really lacks stability in themselves. We also have rapid, rap, rap, <laughs> rapid rabbit here with recognize your significance. I think that for, you know, for many of you, this person is now realizing that you guys are very significant to them. There's definitely a sense of this person wanting to care for you, wanting to be sweet towards you, wanting to love you. Um, there's a strong realization here that, of the value that you played, that you added to this person's life. And there's definitely a lot of regret coming through as well. We have parrot. Listen intently to understand. I think this person, you know, you might have told some, this person some pretty intense truths or something. And this person could have like acted like they weren't hearing you or something. But I do feel like this person has been listening or they've been really like re-remembering the things that you said. And you do make a big impact on this person. They want to tell you that. They want to say thank you um, for actually being direct with them. Okay, someone's name. Again, I'm getting A names here. I just heard Anna. Um, so hi, Anna, if you're watching, but I feel like this person, like they, you do, your words did impact them, you know? And I think that that's something that they really want to tell you because they could have tried to pretend or treated you like your words didn't matter, but they, they're now recognizing that they, they really do. Wow. This person, man, they still have a lot of growing up to do. So yes, pile three, that was uh, pile three, pile two, that was your spread. Maybe some of you are going to watch pile three as well. Um, but yeah, I don't know what to say about this person. I kind of feel like they're, just, they're still not really ready, I don't think, to be more clear with what they've actually done wrong here. You know, I still feel like this person is not wanting to take very much accountability. But yeah, there will be an extended um, that will be in the description box. I hope you have a great day. We will talk later. Hi, pal three. Welcome to your reading. If you chose this cute little sushi, then this is your reading. Thank you for being here. So I'm going to go ahead here and tap into your energy. Spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, please help me connect to the energy of the collective that chose pile number three and their person of interest. Please come forth with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy for pile threes, specifically related to what this person on their mind would say to them. As always, we wanted to say a big thank you for keeping Pile 3 safe and protected. Please continue to guide them. We appreciate you so much for everything you do for us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, okay, Pile 3, I was getting a lot of red. Okay, so this person, you know that phrase like seeing red? This person could have like quite a temper tantrum, just saying. But I also feel like red for me is correspondent to the base chakra. So this person could really lack security in their life where there's some kind of an element of them understanding that they're not really as secure as they're pretending to be. Um, I was also hearing the word faith or the name faith. So I don't know if this person, um, maybe you guys are spiritual or religious or maybe this person is, but there's some kind of an element here of have faith. Pile three, please. What would this person say? What would this person say to pile? What would pile three's person want to say to them? What does pile three's person want to say to them? We have five of wands and we have temperance. Okay. Yeah, this person, you guys, especially with the five of wands coming out first, they could be somebody who's like pretty heavily into competition. This person could have treated everything like a competition. There's definitely a strong sense here of like um, anger, you know, that I think this person was working through. But I feel like this person had a lot of competing interests here as well. And they're saying that they're now starting to um, really learn how to balance things out. I feel like this person really lacked balance in their life and they are stepping forward to admit that. There's a lot of regret that they have for not being a balanced person. This person could be a Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising, or you guys could be. We have Wheel of Fortune, which is also a Sagittarius card for me because it's Jupiter ruled. Okay, so um, yeah, wow. Wow. 
there's a lot of like this person wanting to change this connection. I do feel like this person, they want to come back in for, for many of you. I do think that this person, they still are having, I guess, faith that the two of you will come back together. Um, I feel like this person is wanting to say too that they have changed. I think this person has been putting in effort to change. Um, but I still feel here like they're a bit of a bulldozer, a bit of a bulldozer type of energy. We have page of swords in reverse. If you guys are not talking to this person, that has really impacted this person and caused them a lot of pain. I feel like for some of you, you've literally like blocked this person off of all of your social media. Um, there could also be an age difference here. You guys could have met each other in school, but there's a sense of this person like really, really missing having access to you. And they do want to change that. This person wants access to you above everything else. We have four cups in reverse. This person is ready to like come out of this board stage and they're they're telling me that they're ready to be more stable and more committed i don't necessarily feel that's truthful though okay so i feel like this person could be very charming or they like to tell you a bunch of different things that they hope will convince you but i don't know i feel like there's something about this person's energy that's not quite like not stable but they're not quite being very authentic they don't feel very settled to me energetically this person misses you though, they really do. And I feel like there's a regret that this person has and they do seem to want to smooth things over. Tell me more, please. What would pile three's person say to pile three? We have the loving woman. We have commitment. We have loss. Wow, and we have conflict, okay. <sighs> this person, I do feel like you know, they do want to come back in. And for some of you, they want this commitment with you. They want to have the stability with you, which is funny because again, for many of you, I don't feel like this person was very authentic and very truthful to you when the two of you were together. Um, I feel like this person, they are saying that they want to come in and offer commitment and that's what they would say to you. But the problem here is I just want to reiterate that I don't feel like there's something um, truthful about this energy. Okay, I really don't. I feel like this person's still very unsettled. I feel like though you not being in their life has been a huge, tremendous loss for them, a tremendous loss. And they would want to say that to you because they've been very lonely, I think. They haven't quite managed to, you know, find anybody like you. And there's a high degree of, of um, grief, I think, that this person's going through. They're like kind of, um, they kind of feel like empty inside. I know that's kind of mean, but that's literally what I'm feeling. It's like they, they don't have a lot of personal happiness here. I think this person still has a lot of conflict that they personally need to work through as well. But they want you to unblock them. I'm just hearing someone say, unblock me, please. Tell me more. Pile three's person, what would they want to say? Thank you. Let's take a look. That might be too many. We have wealth. We have visions. We have peace. And we have the gossips, okay. This person could have let like um, other people interfere in this connection. You know, they could have like taken what other people were saying as more important than what you were saying to them. I do feel like this person was very like um, focused on their own life. You know, I don't think this person paid a lot of attention to how their actions could have hurt you. They could have also been very greedy. Greedy with time, greedy with energy, greedy with money or stingy. I think this person is seeing you as somebody that is very um, important to them. And like there's this vision of you guys being together at the end of days or something. But again, I don't know if I would trust this person's energy. I just, I just really have to keep reiterating that. But I do really feel this person wants peace in this connection. There's definitely a sense of like sadness here. They miss you a lot. What else? We have snake live according to your divine essence. You, I feel you guys have really grown a lot, you know, since this connection, it's like, you've learned a lot about yourself. You've learned a lot about your own divine feminine nature here too, whether masculine or feminine, doesn't matter. I feel like you guys have really worked on yourself and there's been a, a big awakening through this connection. I still feel like this person has a lot of growing up to do. I kind of feel like you've surpassed them or like your eons away from this connection now mentally. We also have swan demonstrate grace and majesty. I think this person would say how they were really recognizing, you know, the, the value of what you were placing here and the value of what you were um, giving. And they're very impressed with the way you handled yourself. You know, I think this person has a lot of respect for you. I really do. 
we have both be independent but work together. That to me feels like a friends with benefits thing. And we have panda stay balanced and in your essence. This person, I feel like they they want to come back in. You know, they want to come back in. But again, there's a sense of this person not really wanting to give to you as much as they want you to give to them. I feel like this person's a bit of a user. But I think that they've noticed how much um, balance and how much joy and strength you guys have really demonstrated through the ending of this connection. This person is really wanting a second chance but i feel at the same time too there's a recognition that you guys are very you're different than them now like you you have a different focus and i think this person is aware that they're no longer on your level um but yeah this person's still definitely keeping or trying to keep a tab tabs on you we have giraffe here with aspire to higher knowledge and wisdom so I kind of feel like you guys, Pile 3, have learned what you've needed to learn in this connection. And I think that's really, really important because I feel like you guys are now um, in the state where you're becoming more and more balanced and aware of what you need to do um, in the future. And this person still feels like they are not really on the same level as you. They're a little bit closed off still to their own purpose. You know what I mean? Um, but yes, that is what I have. There will be an extended that will be in the description box. I just wanted to say as well that I hope you guys are doing well. I'm sending you all a very big hug. Bye-bye.